Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the side saddle stitch, which is a fairly common pattern with uh, in crochet. You've probably seen this stitch around before. The stitch is made up of double crochet cluster stitches. Uh, it's similar on the front as it is on the back. The fabric has a little bit of weight to it because of these clusters, but it's quite open and airy as well. I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch or if you've used this stitch in a project before and you can let me know in the comments of this video. Today I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook along with a little bit of the cotton aran yarn by Paintbox Yarns and you can find the links to both of these items in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me and while you're here don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and a new stitch tutorial every Sunday morning. Today our side saddle stitch is worked in rows so you're going to start by making a slip knot and then chaining a foundation chain. Our foundation chain for the stitch needs to be a multiple of five stitches plus two for your foundation chain. So today I'm going to chain a total of 22 chain stitches. There's 20, 21, and 22. Once you have your desired length of foundation chain, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So count in one and two, and into that second chain work one single crochet stitch. You're now going to work a double crochet cluster over the next four chains. And actually before you do that, you're going to chain three. So single crochet in the second chain from your hook, chain three, and now work a double crochet cluster. To work your double crochet cluster, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops. And you're going to do that a total of four times. So there's one. You're going to repeat, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. There's twice. One another time, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and one last time, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to have five loops on your hook, yarn over, and draw through all five loops. That is your first cluster stitch made. Next you're going to chain one and single crochet into the next stitch. You are now going to repeat chain three and work a double crochet cluster over the next four chains. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and drop a loop yarn over, pull through two, do that a total of three, uh, three more times, so for a total of four, once you have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five, chain one and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across.
At the end of your row one, you're working your final single crochet into that chain stitch. You're then going to chain five and turn your work. For row two, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the top of the first cluster stitch. So there's your chain one. The top of your cluster, cluster stitch is right here. You're going to work one single crochet into the top of your cluster stitch. Chain three and work a cluster stitch into the next chain three space. So this is your chain three here, so you're going to be working into that space and work one cluster stitch. Now I'm working all of the uh, legs around the chain. Inserting my hook into that chain three space. Once you have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five, chain one, and then single crochet into the top of the next cluster stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain three, cluster into the next chain three space. Chain one, and single crochet into the top of the next cluster stitch. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a double crochet into that uh, final single crochet stitch. I'm at the end of row two, working my final cluster stitch into the final chain three space. And I'm then going to double crochet into that final single crochet stitch. You can then chain one and turn your work. Next, you're going to skip that first double crochet stitch and the chain and work a single crochet into the top of your first cluster stitch. So chain one, turn, single crochet into the top of your cluster stitch. You then may have an idea of what to do. You're going to chain three and work a cluster stitch into the next chain three space. Chain one and single crochet into the top of the next cluster stitch. Chain three and repeat. You're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come across to the end of your row three, you're going to have your uh, starting chain uh, five there and a single crochet. You're simply going to work a single crochet into that starting chain. And that's it. For the rest of this pattern, you are going to simply repeat rows two and rows three. So you'll will at the end of row three, chain five and turn your work and continue working your side saddle cluster stitches. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe while you're here. 
and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye!